Oh my God. Okay, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Now, I never get hyped about Blackmagic, uh, you know, they, when they do their live streams and talk about their new equipment. And seeing all of that broadcast stuff as usual was just like, oh, okay, you know what? It's amazing what they've done. And the broadcast stuff, what they're doing is absolutely amazing. And obviously we know that's the way the world is going in terms of broadcasting, live productions, all that kind of stuff. We've just seen Ari do a similar thing with their new um, Alexa, Alexa 35 and the new expansion packs, what They've got at the back absolutely amazing but black magic usually bore me when i'm watching their uh, announcements no no offense grant petty i think you what you've done in the industry is absolutely amazing look at me talking like he even watches this channel <laughs> but no on a serious note it is absolutely amazing davinci resolve all of those new features what they've got like the the new no, um, noise reduction which is kind of similar to what neat has and the um and the new easy cine grade as well just some fantastic features which they've got inside resolve resolve just put just killed everything and talking about killing i've already gone and got my um funeral flowers and i've got my uh shovel here ready to dig my grave for me and my black magic box <laughs> hey listen the pixis absolutely amazing grant petty black magic First time ever, massive round of applause. This is it. This is like, the, this is what we was waiting for from you guys. We knew you had it in you. And at that price as well, under $3,000, and you can get like, what is it, L mount, PL mount, or EF mount, you've given us the choice. The uh, custom plates, all of that kind of stuff. Something, a mantra that I've been on for such a long time about, you know, box cameras, how you rig them. Even looking at the way it was rigged with the, um, the viewfinder on the top and the screen on the side, absolutely beautiful man and bpu batteries <laughs> listen you can tell i'm very excited about this man like I, I think a lot of people would expected me to be upset but i'm not because as i said before when i create cameras and when we're designing them it's i create them for how i want them to you know to use them how i like and you know i've spoken about black magic cameras over the years i have no brand preference give me a sony give me a canon give me a black magic whatever i'll just use it but for my own preference there's a, 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 a you know a way that i like to shoot and black magic what they've done with that camera the pixis is just absolutely amazing now when we was doing the first b6k tom didn't want me to release the images but i'm going to show you these images right now and if you look at them, you can see how similar the Pixis looks to this camera. And remember, we designed this like near enough two years ago now. And it was funny because a lot of people said to me, ah, oh, you know, some certain friends in my circle said to me, the screen on the side, it won't work and this, that and all the other. I said, look, most people use monitors anyway. Having the screen on the side is good for like operators or now when we're doing reels because you can flip the camera and now you've got the perfect uh, layout for having a camera for a reel. And let's, make, let's be honest, like there's more reels going on this days than, than vertical video so it was amazing to see the design and how similar it looked to our b6k so yeah it's kind of like killed every single diy black magic box project on the market now including ours i mean we're still going to go ahead with the um the micro og one because we think that's in a different class you know with the fairchild sensor the dual gain sensor and stuff so we're still going to go ahead with that but if you watch this channel regularly and you come to my community section, a lot of you know that just the other day I said that I was gonna I ab I abandoned the um the uh, the black box project and I gave it to Tom to let Tom carry on with it because in my opinion you know that should have been out a couple of years ago it took way too long to do you know and then then you know all these other mods started coming and that kind of stuff and then because i'm not using black magic cameras the you know the 6ks the 4ks anymore i kind of felt like i was just doing it to prove a point to myself that i you know and to other people really not even to myself to other people that i can uh, you know I, i'll be able to to make this box but it wasn't in my interest but the eclipse is definitely in my interest because of the dual gain sensor fairchild i think it's got an amazing um a, amazing life ahead of it a, a cult classic the the micro og is so yeah yeah. but man like the, everything what they've done now with the new color color panels and that kind of stuff i have to say to black magic you have absolutely surpassed every expectation which i've had you've gone just above and beyond it's like you listen to everybody and you've also done what you wanted to do and you've created something fantastic and i will be putting in my pre-order this evening for the ef mount version i don't really want to go into l mount because i'm still going to be using the uh the um the ogs and stuff so i don't want to get the um the l mount version <sighs> i don't even know what to say what can i say like um probably you you know you, you guys are probably as shocked as i am 
I just, just can't believe that they actually finally did it and they did it so well. If I could have one criticism is that it would it would be nice if it had a small screen on the top. Just something that, you know, that, that was just relatively viewable, maybe three and a half inches or something like that, a three inch screen. That would have been nice, but I'm not gonna complain. We've got what we want and now, yeah, now it's time to put my money where my mouth is. I said I was gonna buy it if they ever release it. They've done it and I'm going to put in my order now. So hopefully I should be one of the first ones with it and give it a good test run. And then actually it'll be a good one to put up against the Eclipse when we bring it out to see, you know, design wise and, you know, in terms of shot matching, color matching and resolution, because one's 6K, one's 1080p. So it'll be good to see, you know, them working together. But yeah, guys, man, my heart is like, it's so dumb because it's only a camera. It's like, I say to people all the time, people want to get serious in the comments. Oh, Colin, is this, that, da, da, da. I do this, I shoot this, I shoot that. And I'm telling people, you know what? It's only a camera. Don't take things so seriously. It's not that big. It's not that big a deal. We're not solving world hunger, okay? But I am really excited this time because it's been a long time, man. Since I got the first P4K, then the Ursa, then the um, the OGs, then the micro, my first time the micro, then the P6K Pro, never was right. But this one just looks absolutely stunning. So yeah, I'm off to get it now. And um, yeah, so every, all of us guys on YouTube that were building the um, <laughs> the box six Ks, I've got this shovel ready if you want to if you want to borrow it. Um, yeah, you can you can use this to dig your own grave and dig the grave for your camera. So yeah, let's get out there and start digging. <laughs> Later's.